Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing a Meghan Markle wedding makeup look and she looked so so stunning and beautiful on Saturday and I hope you got to watch it. She just looked so so beautiful and natural. Her makeup was just, I just thought was really really perfect because her skin showed through, she looked like she had loads on. She had quite a lot on her eyes, like her eyes were quite intense but her skin was just super natural and beautiful and I'm going to create a look sort of based on her look that she wore on Saturday so really hope you enjoy if you are new to my channel and you like beauty fashion and lifestyle videos please do hit that subscribe button on the right hand side of your screen just get updated every time I upload a video and I would love to have you back so please do hit that button and I'm going to get straight on into this video so to start off with I'm going to go in with the Beauty Pie Bio Infusion Breathable Primer and this is like a nice lightweight primer and it's more like a moisturiser I'd say than anything else and it's just really really good at just prepping your skin before makeup. I'm then going to go in with the Vita Liberata Beauty Blur Skin Tone Optimizer and this is a beautiful product that I've spoken to about before and I did a whole video on it so I'll link it up above if you haven't seen it. It's a beautiful product that just kind of eliminates all your blemishes and it just makes your skin really really glowy, it makes you look like you've been out in the sun a little bit and it just gives your skin a really really beautiful healthy look and I just love using it. And as you can see, it's just eliminated some of my blemishes and just made my skin look really dewy and pretty. And it's just such a nice product that you can even wear without any foundation. Just makes your skin look really healthy. Because I want to keep my skin nice and light and glowing, I'm going to go in with the Bourjois 123 Perfect CC Cream. Now, I absolutely love Bourjois CC Cream. I think it's one of my favourite sort of foundations, sort of tinted, moisturisery things to use. This is definitely more like a foundation than like a light CC cream. Uh, it has really, really good coverage. I really like it. I always apply this with my hands. I just think you get a much nicer, natural look if you use your hands rather than uh, like a makeup sponge or brush. And I sort of rub it in, which I know lots of people don't like people using fingers, but if you wash your hands before you do your makeup, I mean, there's really nothing wrong with it at all. I just sort of say bung it on there just bung it on and then sort of rub it in like a moisturizer and this one does oxidize slightly so to begin with it always looks a bit light but then it goes back to my skin tone as it sinks in and then once it's nearly in I get a damp beauty blender I just dab off any of the excess that hasn't quite worked into the skin And I'm going to let that sink in and just work into the skin and let my own oil sort of let it sink in before I do anything else to my skin. So I'm going to move on to my eyes. And to begin with, because she had quite uh, sort of sultry eyes, I'm going to use the Beauty Pie Ultra Colour Wonder Gel Eyeliner in black. And I'm just going to do the top uh, line of my eye rather than the bottom. Just to give a bit of definition to my, my eyelashes. I'm going to use on my eyes is this Max Factor Excess Shimmer uh, in 25 Bronze. It's a liquid product. It's really, really beautiful, really, really easy to use. And I just take like a small brush and pop the tip in. You don't want too much to begin with. It's a small amount. And I just pop it all over my lid. This is like one of the quickest products you can use because you can just sort of really slap it on and it blends out really, really easily and beautifully. It's really, really simple to do. I like to sort of get the shape that I'm looking for. And then take a fluffy brush. And I blend out the edges. So pretty. And then go in for a second dip. And just go over again, just to intensify that look. Because when you blend, it does take it away slightly. Now this is a cream product. It does crease a little bit during the day. But I don't seem to mind that very much at all. Uh, it still looks really, really pretty. And I just do exactly the same on the other side. I sort of slap it on. Try not to put too much on like I just did there. Because it just makes your life a little harder to blend it out nicely. I just put a bit too much on there. Taking my fluffy brush, I'm just going to blend it out. Even though I put too much on, look how easily it blends. This is such a nice, easy product to use. And the colour is just beautiful. I have green eyes, uh, 
and this colour just really really enhances that colour and I just think it works really really well for lots and lots of different colour eyes. That's the eyeshadow done, really really simple, really really quick. Such a good product and it's just so quick and easy, definitely for like everyday use. I'm going to do my mascara just before I do my lipstick so I'm going to go in now with the Tanya Burt Selfie Sculpt Brow Pencil and I'm also going to go in with my Soap Brows my soap brows here as well which I also did a video on which I'll link above if you haven't seen it just to give some like definition so I'm going to start off with the soap brows and just give it a little bit of a spray and then a little spoolie just to work the product and I just like to brush them up just to keep them in place a little bit it also gives like the product like the brow pencil something to stick on to just keeps like the product on longer Then going into the brow pencil, I'm just going to go in nice and lightly, just in the areas that I feel like I need it. And a good tip is just to go away like from quite far and look at yourself because sometimes you look at yourself too closely and people don't really look at you that closely. And it's quite nice just to look from afar and just see where the gaps are and then just fill them in. I'm taking the same spoolie I used with the soap product just brush those up such a nice easy way to do your brows moving back onto my face so I'm gonna go, I've got this new product which I absolutely love it is this the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid in Moonstone and it just is so good, I'm gonna show you what I do with it I take a few pumps to the back of my hand. I then take the makeup mixer from Le Maquillage and pop a little drop of it, not too much, just a small amount and I mix them together with an end of a makeup brush. I then take like a, a, a blending brush, so this is actually one from Primark which I really really like and I just load my brush up with it, not too much, make sure it's all blended into the brush. And I just pop this all over, sort of, where I want my face to be glowy. It's just such a nice way to add a lot of nice natural highlight to your skin. And it just makes your skin look so healthy and glowy. And then take my makeup sponge and just tap that in. And I hope that's coming up on camera, but it just makes your skin look so beautiful. I'm now going to go in with my concealer. So I know that I haven't put any on yet, so I'm going to pop a little bit on my under eyes. A tiny bit on my cheek, just here. I'm a little bit red. nothing too much very very thin layer I'm going to blend that out and then I'm going to go in with the sort of lip and cheek stain from the body shop in the colour red pomegranate this is really really beautiful to use really simple I just dot it on my cheeks and I'll use the same brush give it a good blend and I blend upwards to begin with then I sort of sweep it across my nose as well just to get that nice English rose look once more makeup sponge and that is my cheeks done then I'm going to go in with my mascara and I'm going to use the by Terry Lash Expert Twist brush mascara. I'm going to go in the first sort of spoolie before I twist it and I'm going to do this on the top and bottom lashes. I'm just going to really really give them a good coat. And I'm going to twist the spoolie to make it shorter and this sort of gives it the thickness. A bit like a false lash but without false lashes because I absolutely hate wearing false lashes and I didn't think Megan really had any false lashes on. Look very natural. 
So may have had some individual ones on, but with this mascara, you definitely don't need that. And then for powder, I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay Velvetizer. I'm going to take this on my makeup sponge. I'll tap that in. I'm just going to pop this on my sort of below my cheek area, just above my top lip. No one likes a sweaty lip. And then a little bit under the eyes, just to set that concealer. I then like to take it just on my forehead. And then for my lips, Megan have got a very, very natural sort of lip. So I've got this uh, nude lipstick from Gerard Cosmetics. I just want to pop a little bit of this on, just to make my lips nude. Rub that in. Just using my fingers just to blend it out to make it nice and natural. No harsh lines. And then over the top, I'm going to go in with the Beauty Pie Lip Gloss in Sugar Bun, which is a beautiful nude, just to give a little bit of shine. And to finish off the entire look, I'm going to use the Saint Tropez Self Tan Purity, and this I just find makes my makeup look so so beautiful and glowing. Just spray it over my face, and that's it. Just gives it a nice sort of it's a different sort of way of setting your makeup and I've just been really enjoying using that. It's refreshing, it smells amazing and I just love doing that. So this is my interpretation of Megan's makeup. I think she looks absolutely stunning, so natural and radiant and this is my interpretation of that and I really really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know below what you thought of her makeup, what did you think of her dress, what was your favourite part of the ceremony, the flowers for me just looked so so beautiful and that guy that played the cello was it? Is it a cello? I'm going to say cello. And that, that music was just really, really beautiful. I just think they did such a beautiful job and I just say well done to them. I think it's so, so hard to get married in the first place, let alone with like a million cameras and then and millions and millions of people are watching them doing it. So I think they did such a good job. Let me know below if you enjoyed it. Let me know if you like this look and if you're going to recreate it or have you already done your own recreation, let me know below. Please do hit that subscribe button like I asked before and hit the like button so that I know you like these kind of videos as well. And I will see you in my next video. See you later.